The number of people visiting India's art fair New Delhi is growing. It's chosen to focus on promoting artists from Southern Asia, and that approach seems to be working. Radhika Bajaj went along to find out why. Hundreds of artists have brought their work to this international art fair. Take a closer look and you can recognize a distinct South Asian flavor. The India Art Fair displays works by some of the country's modern masters like F.N. Souza and M.F. Hussain. It also showcases emerging talents from Bangladesh, Nepal and Sri Lanka. This trio of paintings called the Peace Owners from Nepalese artist Sunil Sigdel made a strong impression this year, drawing the attention of international collectors and galleries scouting the fair. Of course, it provides a type of exposure that would be very difficult in Nepal. Uh, coming together with 60 plus booths and so some of the top artists as well. Putting the fair's focus on South Asia was a deliberate strategy. In a world which has 250, 300 art fairs, if we really have to stand out, then the way to move forward is to become more inward looking and really focus very strongly on content from this region. And it seems to be paying off. Global collectors and galleries have become regulars at the India Art Fair. More than 20 of them came this year to connect with new talent. We're looking at the India Art Fair as a laboratory. This is a place where art, the market commerce is happening and we want to see what's happening with the next generation, the next generation of artists. So we kind of like to see it as the annual general meeting of South Asian arts. And while India's art market may not garner the same sort of attention as Europe's does, stakeholders see a bright outlook, highlighted by encouraging sales in recent years. It's not just South Asian galleries, artists and collectors that you find at the India Art Fair. For American and European galleries too, it's an exciting gateway to a developing market. Radhika Bajaj, TRT World, New Delhi.